Let me ask you something. When was the last time you went on an authentic paddle wheel boat ride up the awesome Asable in Oscoda? Well, as hard as that might be to say, it's something that's absolutely a ton of fun to do. It's called the Asable River Queen. And for the past 50 years, this double-decker flotilla of fun has been a family favorite. So the guys and I checked our land legs at the dock, climbed aboard, and we headed upriver for yet another UTR adventure. And to make sure we had all the fun afforded us, I checked in with Captain Roger Rice. So how'd you get to be a riverboat captain? Are you a real captain? I am, I am. I actually oh, yeah. have a certificate. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're all on the wall. Um, actually, my mother-in-law owned the, the boat, and um, I trained under licensed captain for years, and I fell into it. You love it? Uh, it's a lot better than the masonry I was doing before. <laughs> now, is this a real riverboat? Is this like modeled after the old Mississippi boats? Yep. Actually, uh, the man that built it, Howard Brubaker, he um, went to Mississippi and purchased some blueprints uh, because there are so many stumps and trees in the river, and he wanted something that wouldn't draft a lot, and it only drafts a foot of water. It's a true flat bottom. So only one foot in the water? Correct. That's amazing. And this boat's been in service how long? Uh, 53 years. Really? Safe passage, yep. Now, I've been on a few of these boats that were they were called paddle wheel boats, but the paddle wheel is just decoration. This is a real paddle wheel boat. This is absolutely authentic, yep. If it breaks, you have to get in it and act like a gerbil. And... I do? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Somebody does, right? What do people tell you when they can ride them when they're getting off? I um, love the ride, love the scenery, especially in the fall. Our fall is actually the busiest time of year. And you guys go up to Labor Day or past Labor Day? Oh, past Labor Day. We run through the third week of October. So we're doing about how many knots? Uh, right around three, three and a half. No, you never try and slalom the canoers, right. do you? Actually, no, because normally the canoers pass me. <laughs> I don't suppose someone like me could actually steer the boat. Well, you'd have to wear the hat, Tom. Oh, you got the hat. Yeah, all you right. Got the hat. All right. Yeah, you want me to be an American ship's captain or maybe French? Oh. Right? Huh? <laughs> Am I really steering the boat? Yes, you are. Let me know when I do something right. Okay. Uh, hey, look, everybody, I'm steering the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> yeah, no, you, maybe you should take it over there. Captain Roger, there you go. Hey, Thanks. heck of a job. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Yay! Oh, no, really, it was nothing. It was nothing. No, really. I know it really was nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Not only was Captain Roger awesome at nautical navigation, he was also great at informing and entertaining the ship's passengers. We had a great time laughing and learning all about this historic and majestic river. The good captain even let the kids don an official cap and take a turn at the ship's wheel. This was a special moment for all the little captains on board and made for some pretty cool and fun family photos. Captain Roger made sure every single kid got a chance to steer the mighty River Queen. Even a big kid or two. Oh. I had such a great time on the River Queen that I almost forgot to get off the boat. I'm not really sure why I was the only one who had to perform a muster drill. Hmm, maybe Captain Roger's seen our show. If you're in search of some sensational sunrise side floating family fun, and you want to experience an authentic paddle wheel boat ride up the Osable, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You're supposed to go to Wascoda. I just love saying that.